Well, a little bit of a soggy start, depending on what side of the town you're on. Then as the afternoon rolled around, we watched this strong thunderstorm chase Stephen all the way into the station, and we still held on to a little bit of that rain shower activity, dealing with some brief flash flooding and cooling us way down into those 70s, but we're on the warm-up right now. Looking at the temperature change over the last 24 hours, going all the way down into those lower 70s, then we warmed up into those mid-80s around 3 p.m. That's when that rain shower activity kicked off, dropped us down into those lower 70s again, and we're on the recharge right now as we still look out for a little bit of thunderstorm activity before things sort of die out for Thursday 81 right now in San Angelo everybody else in a combination of those lower 90s and those upper 80s if not those lower 80s but of course 10 degrees definitely out there right now take a good look 85 in Sterling City 83 down there in Junction 95 in Coleman and 88 in Ozona of course there's our 12 degrees from north to south but of course we want it in that more of a northwesterly to southeasterly orientation right now a lot of that rain shower activity pushing in from the south before it starts to turn out of the northeast by about Friday of course we're looking at how much the moisture values have made their way up dew points are in those 60s if not those 70s with a few pockets of those 50s off towards the northeast. Of course, humidity indices are anywhere from those 30s and those 20s all the way up into those 60s and those 70s across the entire region. So we'll see if we don't see any more thunderstorm activity while that nighttime conditioning takes settle over into the entire region. Of course, upper level pattern is going to continue to show you how that high pressure is weakening. Now, some areas in Montana have already reported hearing some of that snowfall, so definitely more cooler temperatures are on their way, but some areas already on the recharge as they're dealing with some of that heat like Haley was saying we could see more records but not here in the Concho Valley as we continue to cool down of course watching the water vapor watching the circulation over the four corners again the one over Montana producing a little bit of snowfall and then of course the circulation over East Texas this moisture over the Gulf has everybody pretty concerned when we're talking about still dealing with hurricane season we're watching the concentrations of yellow continue to circulate around parts of East Texas but there's our strong cold front pushing across the entire nation now that's going to calm things off towards the west where they are still dealing with a few of those fire alerts, but as it lifts more of this moisture off towards the east, we'll see how severe things get. Severe weather outlook showing you how it is the Concho Valley. Pockets over the four corners, again targeting areas of South Dakota and North Dakota, and then all along the Great Lakes region. Take a good look at the surface. This is a tornado watch for both Dakotas. That's a huge box while you're seeing a severe thunderstorm warning pop off for areas of North Dakota. Some flash flooding near New Mexico, but we really just have our eye on a lot of that convection over East Texas. As we show you the radar right now as we're tracking some of these pockets that should be across the entire region. Things will start to settle down by tonight. Then Thursday, things completely quiet down, but it'll move in from the east then from the northwest about Friday around that noon time like today. And then things sort of become isolated and spotty. This continues into Friday night, takes a small break. Then by Saturday, we start to see some of that thunderstorm activity where Stephen will continue to track some of this activity. So tonight, back down into those 70s. I'm still on the look out for some thunderstorm activity. Then tomorrow, a small break as we see a small warm up into those mid 90s, but things continue to cool down from there. As we wrap up August and Labor Day rolls around, we're gonna see more thunderstorm activity as we finally make our way into those upper 80s. By Labor Day, we're all the way down into those lower 80s, but a small warm up as we get up into those 90s while those lows follow the same trend, finally pushing all the way down into those upper 60s. Stay tuned for more of the break. You're watching KSAN News at five.